Hi, I'm Li Mingyuan, Applications Scientist at Litecore. Here, uh, we would like to demonstrate how to transfer files from your LI6800 to your computer. You can do this by two ways. So one uh, is you can use a USB storage device uh, for this transfer, or you can use an Ethernet connection uh, through, uh, through an Ethernet cable. Um, so if you don't have a USB storage device available, or if you prefer to use an um, Ethernet cable. To use a USB storage device, you can just simply plug it into one of the two USB ports at the back of your console. In the software, you just go to Log Files and then Manage Files. So you will see your USB your storage device is recognized by the instrument already. On your left hand side, that's the folder structure in your instrument. On your right hand side, that's your USB storage device. So from the left, you just go to highlight the file you, you would like to transfer and then press the button copy on your um, right bottom corner and then the file will be transferred. Okay, so to remove the USB storage device, we will suggest you to press the eject button and then that the USB drive will be safely removed. If you find your USB storage device is not being recognized by the LI6800, we will suggest you to check the embedded software to make sure it is the latest one. Uh, we have the software available on our support website. You can just go to the support website to uh, check uh, the latest software. Um, so make sure your instrument has the latest. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will suggest you make sure you have a, a USB storage device with a good quality and from a company with a good reputation. Alternatively, uh, if you don't have a USB storage device available or if you prefer uh, to use a, an Ethernet cable, you can do this as well. So to use an Ethernet cable, you can just plug one end of the cable to the uh, Ethernet port on the back of the console. And plug the other end to your computer. This is uh, the um, method we call direct connection. Um, instead, you can also uh, connect your instrument to your local network, use the Ethernet cable, and just make sure your computer is in the same network. For this demonstration, we will just use the uh, direct connection method. So one end of the cable to the instrument and the other end to your computer. For Windows operating system uh, users, Go to your computer and open a win Windows Explorer um, a window and in the address bar, enter two backslashes followed by the serial number of your console. So for this instrument, it's backslash backslash 6ac-5710025. Then press the enter button on your keypad of your computer. When this window pop up, just enter Lycor for both the username and the password. So Lycor, L-I-C-O-R, lowercase, no space, no special symbols, I-C-O-R, then press OK. Then you will see the Lyco folder. Double click Lyco folder. So here you will see the folder structure in your instrument. Your data files should be 
in the logs folder. So double click logs, all your files should be here. So just um, copy and paste your file to the location you would like to, and or you can just simply drag the file to the desktop of your computer. Alternatively, instead of using an app, uh, Explorer window, you can use a free uh, application software, which is called WinSCP, as shown here. WinSCP is, um, is a software supports SFTP, which is a safe uh, file transfer protocol. So here in this window, you can see you will need to enter host name, which is a serial number of your console, uh, and a port number. Uh, so we just use a default, the default number, which is 22, and username and password, which are both Lycor, lowercase, no space, no sy uh, symbols. So we will enter the host name for this instrument. It is 68C dash 571025 username l-i-c-o-r l-i-c-o-r and then press login if the host name uh, uh, if this uh, host name i mean the serial number doesn't work for you uh, you will need to enter um, dot local dot and try again so either the serial number only should work or the serial number plus dot local dot should work for you. So log in. Okay, so on the left side, that's the folder structure on your computer. And on the right side, that's the folders in your instrument. So the same, uh, the data files are in the logs folder. So you can simply drag the file you would like to transfer to the location on your left, or just copy and paste that folder to your location on your computer. For Mac OS users, go to Finder. Under Network, you should see the serial number of the console shows up in this window. So double click this instrument and then connect when this window pops up just enter the name and password which are both like or lowercase no space no symbols and then connect you will see like or folder shows up double click this folder and the same, your files should be in the logs folder. Double click logs. And then you can just copy and paste the file you would like to transfer to your computer. This is a, an overview for the method to transfer files from your instruments. Uh, we have other videos available on our website and our other uh, support resources. Uh, so um, feel free to check them out. Um, as always, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, contact technical support or your local distributors.